What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. I'm out here on our sandbar once again. You guys have seen this place several times. This is where a lot of boats will park up in the summertime and just get out and swim and have a good time. And this is where we do a lot of our treasure hunting. Well, I wanted to make a video today because of the area we're at, there's been a time or two when divers have come out and not necessarily with us, but where divers come out, they jump off a boat. Maybe they don't get their boat anchored up very well. And of course their boat drifts away and they got to swim back to their boat. Well, as you can tell, where we're at, it's gonna be a very lengthy and long swim for them. And so what I wanna focus this video on is, is swimming and scuba diving, and why it's so very important that you're tested on your swimming abilities during your open water course. And if you're new to diving, one of the things that you'll have to do for certification is do a swim test. Now, I'm gonna be focusing the uh, water fitness test through SSI, but just about all the diver training agencies out there require you to do some type of swim test for your certification. Through SSI, you simply got to swim 200 yards, and this is a free swim, but it's a constant swim. That means you don't really get any breaks. It's not a time swim, but you're just going to have to swim 200 yards at the surface of the water uh, just to make sure that you can swim. Now, we can up it to 300 yards if we allow you to swim, to use swimming aids such as mass fin snorkel. Then, of course, we are going to make you do a 10-minute water tread. Now, water treading and scuba diving is simply just keeping your mouth and your nose out of the water for 10 minutes and it's a really really simple process a lot of people will actually just simply float on their back versus treading water and that's okay what our goal is is just to make sure that you can keep your head above water for a lengthy period of time now as with any skill that you're gonna learn in scuba diving there's always a value there of why you need to be able to do this and in short one of the primary uh, pieces of equipment that we take with us while diving is of course our air tank or our nitrox cylinder or whatever type of cylinder we take with us and it carries that vital substance that we need to survive which is air now if we try to conserve air by using less energy then of course we can make our tanks last longer and longer well here lies the value of those swim tests since the density of water is actually 800 times more dense than what air is theoretically you're overworking your body every time that you go scuba diving thus you're increasing your heart rate so the swim test is not necessarily to make sure that you can swim but more so to show you that you can increase your heart rate due to excess of activity yet you can still control your breathing weight rate which is exactly what you want to do while scuba diving so we put you through that actual swim test to increase your heart rate but to teach you that hey it's okay you can actually control your respiratory rate thus allowing you to conserve more air out of your cylinder because the more energy that we actually use the more air that you're going to use as well and the less time you're going to have underwater so what of course is the value to the tread test why do you need to be able to tread water well once again if you're out here at the sandbar maybe you're floating maybe the boat drifted and you've got a boat coming to get you you're gonna have to sit there and tread water maybe you've got a, a BCD malfunction and you're unable to get positively buoyant even if you drop your weights maybe you're still too heavy and you simply can't float well the treading water is really gonna come into play there thus while we teach you or have you conduct a 10 minute water tread during your training now the last thing I want to talk about is the differences between swimming and how we swim for scuba diving. Obviously when you're swimming you're using your arms, your legs, and there's different types of swim patterns. You can use a breaststroke, you can use an overhand backstroke, and there's many different ways to do it. However, in scuba diving, we tend not to use our arms. We only use our legs. And with our legs, of course, you are going to use several different kick patterns, such as the flutter kick or the modified flutter. You're going to be using the frog kick or the modified frog kick. You can basically do a reverse frog kick, which is what we call back finning to back up. And that's primarily the way we're going to be kicking. Now, if you're a mermaid, obviously you're going to be kicking with a mono fin and you're going to be kicking both legs at the same time. But even with all that being said, we try not to use our arms. Basically what we're going to do with our arms is just keep them out in front of us and we're going to try to make our bodies as hydrodynamic as possible so that we're using the least amount of energy as possible if you're out there flailing your arms and using them to swim while underwater you're over exerting your body you're using way too much energy your heart rate will increase thus so will your respiratory rate so we want to it's actually okay to have a higher heart rate but we want to keep that respiratory rate down and by only using our legs and not using our arms it makes the process very simple to do but guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you understand now the value of the swim test and why your instructor makes you conduct a swim test during your training during your open water class guys if you got any questions please put it down in the comment section below and i'll try to answer it the best i can if you enjoyed this video you liked it simply smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business
Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.